Amen. Would you please welcome out first, Lee Valiant! behind letting Lee Valiant even in the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium, much less part of the event itself. But Chet Sterling asked for it. He said, I want the opportunity. And honestly, he made the right call by kind of taking a dip out from the table for a moment, because the first thing he looked for was you when he came out here. Good. Come on. I've been in enough near fights tonight. It's like he can't focus on anything else. Attitude coming out here, make, causing a ruckus. He's still somewhere in the building, throwing chairs anyway. Dressed like a Cuban drug lord out there. Nevertheless, I hope. Oh! Joey Hogan and the guys have dragged his carcass out of here by now. Nevertheless, it is a huge grudge matchup as I try to compose myself for people fighting all over the building. Oh! And this is not an ODQ situation. And Pierce is kind of letting him go. Real tense moments in the locker room just a moment ago as I was coming back out. The eight participants in that eight person tag, quite frankly, uh, damn near everybody is at each other's throats back there. Don't look to see any of those uh, teams together again anytime soon. Are they fighting outside? Yeah, they're, they're outdoors and we can't see anything. Cameras are following though. There they are back in the main arena. I'll see them in the distance. In the shadows of the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium, Valiant headed back towards ringside, Sterling in tow. Was that, would that be the dark recesses? Mm. Like, got dark recesses in my home that I like to use. Man, he's just clawing at the face. Nobody told these two it wasn't a no disqualification match. And, and again, Pierce has shown a lot of leniency. I mean, he knows it's a it's a great situation. If Chet's stopping the count, it, it doesn't really matter. I don't know if Pierce was even putting the count on him. Oh! Hard into the edge of the ring. Found it just went out to the lobby. I'm not really sure what for. Once again, this thing is not no disqualification. He is he is wrestling with the risk of a count out. I don't even know if Chet Sterling is aware of where his opponent currently is, and they're going back to the lobby, man. We'll follow it as best as we can. Yeah, our dedicated CWF cameras keeping up with the action. Yeah, Pierce is just gonna put the count on him, I think. He's got to at this point. Oh, here they come flying back through! My God! It is a fight all over the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. Why is everybody so pissed off tonight? Oh, we're supposed to be in a good mood tonight. It was finals night. Uh-oh, heads up! He's got to play nachos! He's got... That's 100 degree nacho cheese! A shower of nacho cheese spraying the ringside fans! Golden 
and liquid everywhere. My God. But uh, they, they keep that cheese hot over there, brother. What a fight these two are having. Referee Kevin Pierce is not sure what to do. Screw it. Valiant's been pissing me off forever. I say let him fight. I can honestly say I've never seen Gatos to the face. Oh, dear. Oh, he slid off the post, man. It's a cheese. It lubricated the post, and he just went flying. I have it. What am I even saying out here? Weaver Cup Finals night has taken a turn that none of us could have expected. Trainees are cleaning up pools of nacho cheese on the far side of the building. We have still got a match going on where they finally are back in the ring, and I'm just going to say it. Chet Sterling has been kicking ass so far. He has. Man, I've never seen Chet this fired up. No, absolutely not. He's always been so so chill, so relaxed. Nothing bothered him. Lee Valiant took away his opportunity to regain the television championship, and Chet's pissed. Oh, what a release, German. I word. Man, and Lee Valiant is on Dream Street here. Splash. Oh. No, he did not hit the buckle. The smarts of Chet Sterling. That's the second time this happens here, do we? No, he slipped out again. Woo! Chad Sterling feeling it. Cover, center of the ring. God, Ooh. did not get him, did not get him. Chad has stayed one step ahead of the veteran Lee Valley in this match. Now he may be a little frustrated. The inexperienced Chet Sterling. Yes, he has been mentored by Trevor Lee. Andrew Everett is some of the best in the game, but Valiant has still got not quite a decade on Sterling as far as experience wait, wait, goes. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell? Oh, on the knee and the ankle. On the knee and the ankle. What the hell? This right. Brian, 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 what the hell is wrong with you? And Valiant gets the win. What the hell is wrong with you? Right in front of us. He said he was going to take out friends of Trevor Lee, and there's no closer friend of Trevor Lee than Chet Sterling. How is this even a thing that we're allowing to happen? Good God! Lee Valiant has stolen a win, and Brad Attitude has stolen the spotlight! So, as I was saying, Paved the way for the contracts that are here today. It's because of me that made a fair business decision. So now all the boys get paid. It's all because of me. Trevor Lee and Andrew Everett would never be where they are if it wasn't for me. That doesn't even have a pronoun in it. That doesn't even make sense. So. You are there. Okay. Hey, don't go nowhere. These people have heard enough talking tonight. I respect the hell out of you. I respect that you were the first graduate of the Mid Atlantic Dojo. I respect that you went to WWE to evolve. I respect that after all that, you came back here to CWF and that you were ready to take the flag. It's not my fault. It's not even your fault. It's not anybody else's fault that these people can see that Trevor Lee was better than you. Now, Brad, if you want, if you want the chance to dis, if you want the chance to disprove that, quit talking, put your boots on, and I will make the match. In the meantime, this microphone 
is off limits to you, sir.